Now, within the scope of this video, I will just be showing you exactly five major ways in which traders take losses all the time from the market. This will be very, very interesting because as usual, I want to just be explaining to you how traders take losses from the market frequently. We'll also be taking the trades live now so you see exactly how it works because that way you are able to perfectly relate with these trading errors. Of course, I will just be showing you exactly how these mistakes are made that leads to crazy losses. I will also be showing you exactly how you can prevent these mistakes completely and how you can recover from every accumulated losses that you might have already. But one thing is sure, if you can watch this video from beginning to the end, you should be able to relate to every situation now and you should be able to master the exact way to go into the trades next time. But just before we go on, if you are new to this particular YouTube channel, just remember to hit the subscription button, hit the like button and also remember to turn the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that will be dropping out from this place. So that not to waste so much time let's dive in now boom all right okay guys so this is exactly what we're having now so we'll just be starting from our xa usd that's our gold right and uh this is exactly what we're having currently uh we'll just be using a capital of 1000 bucks to actually demonstrate all we'll be demonstrating today and uh the the name of the broker i actually dropped the the name already in the description box there and so we can easily just further on now so that the time frame here that we'll be using would just be five minutes time frame so that we can easily look at all the five different informations that we'll be explaining now okay guys now this is exactly what we're having currently to start with right now if you check out the stop what what, what can you notice at about the spot <laughs> what can you notice we notice that this particular chart seems like it's pushing up smoothly right you can literally see that right it seems like it's pushing up smoothly without any issues at all so what are we mapping out at about the spot now let's actually just map this stuff out now if i map this out let's say from the spot right because already this stuff is going up right you can literally see it is <laughs> that is going up right so what i can do is i can literally just map out this particular spot and then what can i see there okay let's let's look at that even closely all right now what can you see at about this spot i can see that this particular stuff is already going up right you can see it it's already going up look at it so all i just simply need to do now is i just want to map this stuff out now in mapping this stuff out what do you notice it hits the spot pushes up his spot pushes up his spot so what do we think is just going to happen again it's just going to keep pushing up again right good so uh where can we put our stop loss uh we can just maybe put our stop loss uh let's say two hours out about okay may maybe that's too close because of the month of september uh, remember i've already told you guys this month of september has been really really crazy in terms of volatility so let's actually just uh be fair let's just place a stop loss uh towards that about this region right so that from there we just watch our candlestick structures and actually see what happens from there okay guys so let's actually storm into this particular trade now let's just let's just use 0 0.1 first Let, let's see let's see how much uh okay remember we're using uh what a leverage of one to two thousand right we're not using unlimited leverage today right so we're using one to two thousand and uh let's actually just buy there and how much margin are we still having nine seven okay uh let's just buy just buy some more just buy some more we already know our stop loss level and everything so uh we're good okay so let's just buy like this and uh we'll just see how this class stuff actually goes right uh, remember uh, this class stuff is pushing up smoothly like this from here right it's pushing up smoothly actually just hit our train right uh that's it and now uh we are, we already know our stop loss to just be at about this level right on a different day we might place it a little bit closer but let's just put it here because it's september the volatility of the market has been really really wild okay so far so good seems like this particular stop is pushing up already you can literally see it we're already running on about 48 48 bucks 49 bucks uh something like that so we'll just be right back guys a few moments later all right okay guys so <laughs> what can we see now is happening at about this spot we can notice that this was class stop literally just dropped down right and just went to hit a stop loss now this becomes this becomes a problem right you can literally see it it actually just dropped down and then just hit a stop loss like that so uh, what is the problem what actually happened at about the spot before that let's actually just zoom up the street first uh let's just zoom up the street uh first right uh since i i am actually not placing the stop loss in reality because i'm watching it so uh let's actually just leave the street first right okay guys so what do we notice happened at about the spot now L let's look at it now what we did was simple we simply came here and then we mapped out this per class stuff like this right this is exactly what we did right 
and then smoothly it came to hit this per class spot you can literally see it right it hit this per class spot but then this stuff was already going up so in a way we were not wrong right this stuff was supposed to keep pushing up but then there's a little problem there's the law of bearish uh what they call bearish compilation or bullish compilation where we're having a lot of bearish candlestick compiling telling us that that market wants to become bearish maybe temporarily maybe not for a long term but it wants to become bearish meaning that what do we see at about the spot now we noticed that this per class spot was pushing up with a lot of bullish candlesticks it was pushing up and then when it got to this per class spot first of all what do we notice a hammer right a bearish hammer we didn't look at the bearish hammer right now secondly we didn't look at all of these bearish candlesticks that we're now getting from a lot of bearish candlesticks we're not getting from right we didn't we didn't even look at any of those we just instantly stomp into the trade it made us stomp into the trade we placed us if we had placed a stop loss this first place well of course it would have hit it very fast but then because it was september we just placed it at this bottom because the market is kind of like very rough currently right so we place it here and boom it still hit our stop loss like that now so what was the mistake that we made here now we literally ignored the law of bullish uh, compilation and bearish compilation number two we literally ignored our candlestick structure also at this per class spot where we're having a bearish hammer we literally ignored that also and bec because we ignored these two stops boom a stop loss was actually so that currently if you check this stuff out now we're actually down we're currently at about 759 dollars right which is not good right which is really not nice at all so guys uh we'll just wait now for the next formation i will just a few moments later right okay guys so this is exactly what you're having currently now look at this per class stuff now what do we have at about this spot now if we map this per class stuff out now what are we having now we're still on our gold remember right now if we map this per class stuff out now you should notice that we're actually having a smooth formation again right look at this per class stuff right we're having a smooth formation and if we check this per class stuff out like this we'll notice that a breakout has occurred smoothly also right so what do we expect is going to happen this per class stuff is is just going to keep pushing up right because first of all this stuff has broken a soft train at this per class spot right it broke a soft train remember went in just now we took some losses and then it reduced the capital to this and now it has went it has gone to hit the main trend at this per class spot right so what do we think is just going to happen it's just going to push up smoothly right but we want to be safer so we just have to map out our stop loss zone so if we map out our stop loss zone that means we'll be having something like uh okay so if we go into this trade at about this spot we can place our stop loss here yeah, but this will be too tight now if it was in september and the market is not this volatile I, I wouldn't mind but because it's september i want to take it to the other level right so that anyhow right will be kind of like a bit safer right so uh, i will just map out this per car level and then we'll just be looking at uh towards this per car level as a stop loss it made us break this per class spot we should be zooming off uh this per car trade smoothly just like that so guys let's actually zoom off uh, let's actually zoom into this per car trade now guys okay uh, so let's just use 0.1 uh just 0 0.1 okay um uh, okay so uh that's what we're having right so 0 0.1 like that okay let's just add one more trade uh okay okay uh let's just add one more <laughs> let's just add one more trade okay it's cool it's cool so so that's exactly what we're having currently right uh so we already know our stop loss levels and um as the chart keeps pushing up first of all these are first take profit level just in case these are first take profit level and after hitting this level we can maybe just stay hold for a while if it keeps pushing up like that we'll keep getting non bullish uh formation smoothly like that we'll just keep holding until we start seeing maybe some bearish and golfing things like that so for the now guys we'll just wait and actually see how it's because so actually a few moments later right okay guys so this is exactly what you're having currently which is not nice at all right so we're literally running over 300 bucks currently right uh of losses right you can literally see that right so uh it's actually just really going very very bad right really going very very bad which is not cool at all so what we can just do now is let's actually just leave this particular trade first and then uh we try finding out what happened on this particular trade what actually happened here like what actually happened on this particular Spot. now let's try finding out now if we check out this per class stuff what can we see now let's map this stuff out again just like we did and if we map this stuff out we are correct right this is actually the third touch you can literally see it it's actually the third right but then what happens on third touches if you've been following us on our videos then you should understand what happens on third touches right anytime you have a third touch there is bound to be a massive movement around that region right first after that it can then decide to start pushing up or 
decide to start dropping down right we can then decide from there according to the chart formations right but then this particular stop was actually the third touch and this place that we called a what a clean that we called a breakout was actually a breakout but then we noticed the candlestick structures around this range started dropping that's we started having uh, enough of evening stars evening stars forming we started having enough of bearish engulfing bearish engulfing forming you can literally see all this because stuff right and so the candlesticks are shrinking are shrinking they keep shrinking and reducing so what do we think is going to happen and this also a thought touch so what do we think is going to happen it's just going to drop down right we literally saw all the signs all the signs were visible all the signs we have a lot of bearish engulfing candlesticks within this region we had a lot of evening stars within this region we are literally sitting on uh, on the thought touch also and then we still went on buys of course guys that's where we just donate money to the broker that was that was that was inevitable so what what are we trying to say now on the second point the second error uh traders make a lot of traders make is that they don't consider the thought touch right so what you need to do is you must always consider the thought touch you must always make sure that the thought touch is fully completed guys we'll just wait again for the next few minutes and actually see how this particular chart actually goes because for the now we are literally having about 456 bucks currently and remember we had a thousand bucks we've actually dropped we've actually lost basically over over 50 percent of our capital already just taking trades like this so guys we'll just watch out for the chart now and actually see how the next formation actually goes a few moments later all right okay guys so this is exactly what we're having currently right so uh we are just having this platform formation now after this spot it kept dropping down right you can literally see this right it just kept dropping down smoothly like that now uh if we check out this per class stuff now what, what can we see now Let, let's let's try mapping out this per class stuff right if we map it out this is what we're having right we're actually having that this per class stop is dropping smoothly like this right let's just map that out so it's dropping smoothly like this so what do we think is just going to happen right it's going to kind of like drop towards the car level right or maybe towards the car level right and then uh because this stuff is already dropping down so uh what do we just expect we just expect maybe just a breakout at about this level because it seems like it has been trying to break out uh, of this particular level right so uh, what we can just do now is we can simply just stomp into this particular trade on sales and uh our stop loss can just be uh this time around let's actually be very very careful because uh our capital has actually dropped a lot so let's just uh make our stop loss maybe towards about about this level maybe just uh maybe something like this maybe something like that but then i won't go into the straight yet i won't go into the straight because this stuff is literally at the bottom right so what i just want is i this stuff has been pushing up and down pushing up and down so i just wanted to go up a little bit since like i already have a new candlestick okay good good we already have a new candlestick so this stuff we just wanted to push up a little bit maybe towards uh towards this particular level or so and then we can just storm in or uh, on enough trades and then just pick it straight to this level and then uh possibly break this particular level because first we can literally see try breaking it try breaking it so it might break the third time after that uh then we are planning on catching it true to this particular spot first take profit <laughs> And true to this per class spot as second take profit so guys uh let's actually just watch out for the chart now and actually see how it's uh, how this per class stop actually go all right okay guys so this is actually very very smooth right it's actually looking nice currently so it has actually hit this per class level we're expecting it to hit so uh what we can just do now is uh we can easily just storm into this per class trade. you can see that right so it's hitting this level so if we can catch this per class stop and true to um, possibly this uh, around this per class level or so and then it breaks below this level then we're expecting we're already in our first and second thing profit there so guys uh let's actually just quickly storm into this per car trade uh we'll just be using uh this time around uh let, let's actually just use uh normal a uh, normal 0 0.1 it's okay let, let's just use 0 0.1 so we're just storming on sales now and uh remember we're just we're just using just above this particular level as a stop loss right like i already said uh we're not trying to uh expand uh, the level this time around just in case okay uh so let's just see okay so uh we're actually having about 0 0.1 there 0.10 0 okay i'll probably 0.42 so uh we'll just wait now
a few moments later okay guys okay guys so this is exactly what we're having currently so this one also went very wrong right now now let's actually see why this particular stuff went wrong again right first of all we are running a, a loss of about uh 139 right a rate of about 139 uh, okay now 140 and then uh we are running an equity of about 313 right that's what we're running but this stuff is still pushing up uh, so uh, let's just quickly leave this straight first and then we'll check out what actually went wrong uh at about the spot right so let's just see what went wrong uh let's just quickly zoom up this particular trade first and then okay now this is what we're having currently right good now if we check out the charts now what what are we having at about the spot we notice something something very smooth at about the spot right what, what do we notice we notice that first of all we had a first rejection at about the spot right it was a rejection candlestick right and then we had a major rejection at about the spot and then suddenly what do we notice now it took off from this particular spot the rejection was so sharp and then when it came back what do you notice it couldn't cross this level at all again because of this sharp rejection right good now if we look at that stuff very well now what does that mean now what does major rejections what uh what, uh, what do major rejections do they actually create a major trend right that's why they are called major rejections right meaning that the stuff wants to continue going up right or okay if it's a major rejection towards the bottom that means it wants to continue going down right good so that if we map out this per class stuff now what are we having we'll be having the first stuff being here at about the spot and then now we'll be having the major one now occurring at about this spot right occurring within our rejection zone uh just at about this spot like this so what do we expect now we expect that this per class of drops hits this per car level because of this major rejection let's say what do we think is going to happen it's going to push up right now if they went if there weren't any major rejection here the candlesticks just keep going down then we'll be very correct this per class stuff will just drop down and start going down so what does that mean it means that you must know never ignore major rejections of chart in fact you must never ignore rejections at all right rejection candlesticks on chart are extremely important right so you must always make sure you note them out and you must always make sure you don't ignore any rejection candlesticks you actually see so that in such a way that this per class stop just pushed up and boom just hit a stop loss easy like that so if we check out this per class stop now we're actually down to about 311 right which is not nice at all which is which is not nice at all right <laughs> which is not nice at all a few moments later all right okay guys so this is what we're having currently right so you can literally see this per class stuff again uh this is actually on a nasdaq now and remember we're actually having about three eleven bucks that's what we're having uh 311 bucks there uh so that if we actually map out this per class stuff we can literally see that this stuff is going up right and after that boom we noticed a sudden breakout towards the top and it's already moving right because we're still trading on our uh, gold so we actually missed this per class stuff right so it's actually moving already you can literally see this pushing up smoothly right so what we can do is we can easily join this particular trade because what's there to lose this particular stuff is already going up right so what we can do is uh we can storm into this particular trade okay so we come coming down the beats which is nice for us we can storm this particular trade on buy so that stop loss can just possibly be around this region right just maybe around this region just uh, just at about this spot like this right uh so that it doesn't look as if uh we are risking we are risking too much things like that right because uh, our capital is already is has already dropped crazily right so uh let's just say at about this spot right just at about this region can just be a stop loss smoothly like that uh just in case any other funny stuff occurs so guys uh let's actually just stop into this per trade and of course our take profit levels we already know how that will go uh we just watch out for okay take this up a little bit so uh i take profit levels we just watch out for our candlestick formations and that will actually tell us uh the level to actually take our uh, take profit but trades like this usually we can pick maybe like something about 20 ratio one around that range minimum or 10 ratio one around that range minimum so guys uh let's actually sum into this per trade now uh let's just go into just maybe one more, just one one trade or so on let's say uh just one trade on let's say 0 0.1 right one trade on 0 0.1 because our capital has actually dropped really really crazy right so uh let's just go into one trade on uh 0 0.1 just to be safe right okay let's go into two trades right on 0 0.1 so guys uh we'll just watch now and actually just see how it's across of actually a few moments later okay guys so this is what we're having currently uh i use 0 0.1 and this is also nasdaq so the volatility is not a lot like that we're living with just seven dollars that's because we're using 0 0.1 on nasdaq which 
it's not really a lot guys let's actually just zoom off this particular trade and actually check out what went wrong on this particular trade all right okay guys so this is what we are having at this particular spot right now uh let me just tell you the reason why i actually use uh maybe really really low lot sizes is because i expect that this stuff might drop down even further more than this right that was what i was thinking i was thinking this particular stuff was just going to keep dropping down and it's just going to bluff this entire capital right and that was why i took just two trades let me just tell you right that was what i was thinking was going to happen but it didn't really drop down so much right and well this is also nasdaq 0 0.1 is actually not a lot on nasdaq right and so we took just five dollars last six i don't know right but but we're down to like 306 currently right that's that's what we're down to now currently so that if we check out the stuff what actually went wrong is very simple a lot of you possibly already know from there just looking at this now what went what went wrong was actually this we had a nice breakout over this particular region at about the spot what you can see right which is actually very nice and then what do we notice at about the spot this stuff is actually going up right and then it created a nice support and resistance at about this level and naturally we are supposed to do what buy right that's what we're supposed to do but we buy when we buy immediately after a retest right now that brings us to the fourth mistake that traders make a lot traders don't wait for retest right they ignore retest and whenever you ignore retest this is what happens the trade retest on you and blows off your entire account the reason why we're still so safe on this per class stuff is because we managed our risk so so much right and so we took just roughly six dollars of red uh, from this per class stuff but if we're to stock in trade as usual you, you know the way we go on our flippies if we're to stock interest like that is going to just take us out like it's, it's it's just it's just going to take us out like that right so uh smoothly at about the spot you can literally see it. so what did you just know now you actually just understood that you must never go into any trade except a retest has been completed so uh this class stuff could have kept going up and kept going up but then it we just went in and it started dropping down right and this is what to call sniper into poverty right a lot just what a lot of traders say sometimes but then what do we notice it made us went to the trade just roughly after 10 minutes 10 minutes or so it just started dropping down crazy like that right so uh so guys uh let's actually just look at how the next formation will actually be a few moments later okay guys so this is exactly what we're having currently right so uh yeah so we left the, the our last trade our previous trade at about the spot and just after some time and out so also uh this is what we're having at about the spot right now if we check out this particular stuff this is looking really really smooth look at this now uh, let, 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 let me just map this particular stuff out for you you can literally see this particular stuff guys this particular stuff is actually looking very very smooth now first of all this was uh this was the first touch uh this was the second and then this was the third and then we know what happens on third touches right it tends to drop down crazily sometimes things like that right but in this case we waited and waited for the drop to happen it broke out of this region completely right not none of those because it doesn't mean that the third touch there must actually be a drop right it's just what happens most of the time so what do we notice that about the spot it pushed up out of the spot came back to give a normal return test at the same time this retest touch this a level here again you can literally see that after that what do we notice a bullish bullish engulfing candlesticks format about that spot and then what do we notice after that it started pushing up smoothly right so what do we think is just going to keep happening now at about the spot it's just going to keep pushing up smoothly just like that right no literally look at it guys look at this right there's nothing wrong here just look at it it hit this per class spot hit this per class spot thought touch it pushed up came back to give a retest at about the spot everything looks good right and then it hit this per class spot again and now we see it's just pushing up like that so what can we do we can easily just stop into this per class trade maybe not hold it for a very long time but uh maybe we can hold it for like 30 minutes one hour two hours or so around that range and just and just cash out smoothly just like that so guys let's actually just zoom into this per class trade now guys so uh in going into this per class trade uh okay so uh let, let's just let's just zoom in into some more so a stop loss level can uh let, let's just leave our stop loss level at this area of breakout right at this area of breakout or let, let's take it below just in case uh what they call it just because we already have a bob so it shouldn't come back to this spot but let's just be fair let's place it here it won't hold this trade for a very long time let's just say an hour or so two hours maximum on this trade and we should be out so guys uh we'll just watch out now and actually just see as the class of actually goes 
a few moments later right okay guys <laughs> so this is what we are having currently now this is not nice this is not nice at all guys this is not nice now we're actually running uh what about 45 right currently that's what we're running 44 just just playing around that range of course just playing around that range that's what we're having currently at about that spot right so if we check out this per class stuff now uh what what can we see now happen at this spot now we mapped out a trend line like this right we think this, this was how we mapped it out right uh so that it this per class spot and then just start pushing up smoothly like that right good now this is where the third mistake the fifth mistake which is the last and this mistake is the most common that's why i had to leave it to be the last right is the most common mistake that traders make right but before that let's actually zoom up this per class trade because oh, well this stuff is still taking us into deeper and deeper rate so uh let's let's just zoom up this per class trade first and after that uh we can make we can just continue let, let, let's zoom up this per class trade first <laughs> okay okay guys now if we actually map out this per class stuff now so currently we're actually down by uh to 263 as you can actually see but if we actually map out this per class stuff now how are we supposed to map it out we map it out from the first to the second and then we map it out and we draw it out like this right now if we should map this per class stuff out smoothly like this what can you see now you notice that this per class stuff we drew it wrongly before right and this way a lot of traders actually get it wrong now i map this per class stuff combine this true to this and then after mapping this per class stuff what do i notice i notice that a breaker literally occurred here you can see a close of a candlestick here right and after that a retest occurred here and after that a second retest test occurred at about this spot and so we were buying on a second retest why because we actually drew our train line wrongly completely wrongly and because of that what do we notice it just dropped down and just hit a stop loss if this had not hit a stop loss uh i i would have been very surprised right even you you understanding that this per class stock broke out at this per class spot you would also be surprised if this stuff had just kept pushing up right <laughs> like that right good so guys uh this is exactly what we're having currently right a few moments later right okay guys so after a few more minutes this is what we're having currently uh we are down remember we are down by 263 so now let's actually just see if we can catch one or two profits to recover this account maybe not up to a thousand i don't know but we'll just try stocking as much trade as possible i actually was waiting for a sniper entry so we can try recovering back this account from 263 to just see how much you can make right so uh if we map out this per class stuff now what do we notice a lot of uh bearish candlesticks occurring at about this spot right telling us that what that the chart actually wants to push down right right and then it dropped down like this right and then we had a double another double formation at about this spot right that's a lot of bearish uh a lot of bearish candlesticks started forming around this region again right and then those bearish candlesticks they didn't just form they created something which you can see at about this spot right a, a breakout right and just before i even say that the retest you can literally see that the retest is completed it got rejected at about the spot you can already see that right so what do you think is going to happen at about this spot now this stuff is just going to drop right of course towards per class spot first and then uh possibly towards per class level also and if it gets this level that would be nice but we'll just be aiming for this level and this per class level just for the now so guys let's actually stock in enough trades into this per class stop guys let's actually see how much we can uh we can recover uh on this uh, capital or uh, we'll just use uh maybe like uh 0 0.2 let's just use 0 0.2 okay uh 0 0.2 a stop loss to just be towards at about uh just towards at about this range right just at about the spot it hits a stop loss and we are out of this per card trade uh so hopefully it doesn't right so we already know our take profit level so we'll just wait now and actually just see ice per class so actually good a few moments later okay guys so <laughs> i guess now we just zoom off this per card trade finally but it's actually nice because we're actually running over 400 bucks right if this was gold well it should have been far more than this right but this is nasdaq so we're actually running about 430 around that range uh so we'll just zoom off this per card trade you can easily see why we're zooming off this per card trade right we're actually having uh, out the clean we're actually having an evening start just at about the spot right you can literally see it right so we're actually having an evening start about the spot so because of that it's only just better to uh, uh, to zoom off this per country now guys so our uh, equity will not be just roughly six seventy bucks around that range so guys uh let's actually just zoom off this per country now okay guys so this is what we're having now uh, we're actually having about 681 just roughly 700 bucks right that's what we're having uh, at about this spot currently so uh we actually did a nice job of trying to recover the capital back so maybe just one or two more trades uh we should be having a thousand bucks back so that's actually very very nice boom okay guys so you literally saw the five major mistakes that traders make all the time that make them take 
take a lot of losses in the market so in case you don't understand any section of this video you can easily just watch this video over and over again for as much time as you want right because i literally showed you the exact five mistakes that traders actually make all the time and that really results to a lot of losses and you as a trader i know you were able to relate to some of these mistakes so just make sure to apply this per class stop how to prevent it right so just make sure you prevent all the mistakes like but just before we go on let me just quickly introduce you to market marathon 150 we will be trading live with multiple traders there and they will be storming into the charts five trades every single day for the next 30 days that's about 150 trades that will be taken within 30 days smoothly just like and we'll also be having live stream sessions where we'll be streaming live where i'll be trading along with these multiple traders also and when you register for market marathon 150 you also gain access to 12 months membership plan and also you gain access to one major class section where i'll be teaching from beginner to pro level trading also gain access to multiple you also gain access to multiple trading robots and indicators which you can use to automate your trading process we'll be storming the market back to back on this marathon starting on the 21st of october through to on the 19th of november you can register easily by scanning the qr code on the screen now or you can simply just check in the description box and just hit on the registration link there to actually just register and if you are new to this particular youtube channel just remember to hit on subscribe button hit on like button and remember to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that will be dropping out from this place so that just has to be a customer goes guys it's a bye from guys i'm mr p peace